Hey y'all, it's Sierra, aka Capricorn Moon Goddess, back with another video for you. And as I started this video, um, they just started cutting the grass, mowing the lawn. So y'all may or may not hear that in the background. But this video is over, or it's a reading for those of you who have been seeing 333 or 3333 or 33 or any um, repetition of the number three. Okay, maybe you're seeing 2121 21, and when you add two plus one, you get three. Whatever you're seeing, if you feel like it has something to do with three, we're going to go ahead and get into why you may be seeing that number. Now, as I have said in all the other videos for the repetitive numbers, um, there are certain meanings that everybody pretty much agrees upon as far as what these meanings are due to numerology. Uh, hold on, let me turn my phone off. <laughs> due to numerology and um, astrology, okay? So there are certain meanings that everybody agrees on for the most part, but there are different meanings for each individual person as well, or it may not mean the same exact thing every time you see that number. Now, I am going to go ahead and read from my manifestation journal. It is called Manifest Life. Um, and I do have some typical meanings for some of the spiritual numbers in there. So for 333, um, I wrote 333 represents the Trinity. It can be a sign that your body, mind, and spirit are in alignment or that you need to balance all three if you are focusing more on one over the others. 333 three, three represents synergy. Um, whatever you are manifesting or focusing on is in the works and being completed right now. It is also the number of the ascended masters or teachers, and they are working with you. You are a creator with powerful thoughts. Something big is about to happen, particularly in the area of love or your career. So network, communicate with and others and express your creativity. It's time to do what you are put on earth to do. Share your story. You will be an inspiration to others. If you aren't sure of your life's purpose, ask your angels and guides for answers. So that is what I have in my manifestation journal for the number 333. So maybe uh, some or all of that resonated with you. Now, the readings or the messages today, they are it's going to be several messages. So all of them may resonate with you or may it may be one or the other or a few. So you take what resonates with you, leave what does not. You are always supposed to be using your own discernment and intuition when you are listening to readings and anything that people are saying to you. Okay, so let's get started. We do have the Hierophant card. And the key word on this card is wisdom, which is interesting because I did just mention that the Ascendant Masters, three is the number of the Ascendant Masters. So um, they are definitely around you, giving you their wisdom at this time. So pay attention to everything you see. Um, you may be in the mood of like learning new things and you just might be a person that people have always said you're wise beyond your years or people go to you for advice things of that nature um so that can help you figure out if this is for you if you have some of those qualities now we also have the three of needles which is the three of swords a number three, another three there, okay? Now, this does represent heartbreak. This does represent betrayal. So, unfortunately, there is some heartbreak or betrayal that you're going through. Or it's not necessarily super serious as far as, like, relationship. Like, I was in love with someone and they betrayed me. It's more on a friendship level or family level or basically some people that you thought were in your corner and had your back you thought y'all was cool you finding out oh we're not really as cool as I thought this person has been working against me or this group of people it could even be three people have been working against me secretly like they really actually don't like me or they might be a friend of me like they like you for what you can provide 
for them and what they can get from you, but they also despise you for the very same thing. Like they like you for the qualities that you have that they can benefit from, but they also despise you for having those qualities because they feel like it's superior to their own. So you may have had people tell you like, oh, I thought you were stuck up or I thought you thought you were better than me. Like, but I realize you're down to earth. That is other people letting you know that they felt like you were better than them. They put you on a higher pedestal and then they just were projecting that onto you. Okay. Um, so you're probably dealing with that or will be dealing with some of that. Okay. We have the strength card and the key word on here is influence. I never really associated influence with the strength card, but it totally makes sense in this reading because like I said, these people are jealous of the influence that you have and you even have influence over them and they can't stand it. Like they really can't argue with you about anything that you say or do. So they don't even like the fact like, dang, I can't even say she's wrong. Like I really do learn from this person. I really do learn for him, from him or her like dang, they even got influence over me. I don't like that. <laughs> so it's like this weird thing where people like you and don't like you at the same time. So you may have discovered recently that some people have been working against you. Um, we have disharmony twice on two different cards. The lovers is in reverse and the two of cups is in reverse. And both of those have the same keyword, which is disharmony. I don't know if they meant to do that or if they just didn't realize they had the word twice. But nonetheless, it is making it very clear that um, even though three represents harmony, there is some disharmony in your life somewhere, okay? And most likely it's coming from outside influences, but that is starting to seep in and it's starting to affect you mentally. We have the manipulation card, which is king of swords in reverse. So you may have been listening to some things that people have been saying. Maybe they've been lying on you, lying to you, manipulating you in some way, shape or form. Um, and it is affecting you, whether you realize it or not, it is mentally affecting you, okay? We have the three of buttons card, which represents collaboration, which is letting me know there are some people that have been getting together behind your back. It might be hard to believe, like, little old me, I got people, like, talking about me behind my back, and, like, the highlight of their day is to get together to talk about me, or the way that they bond with each other is to talk about me and how they don't like me because I think I'm better than everybody else. Oh, my God, the notifications. Huh, maybe that was confirmation. I got two notifications, okay? Like, uh-huh. You know how when you at church and it's like, well, at black church, okay? At black church, people talk in the audience and they ad lib and they like, that's right, preach. Uh-huh. That's right. That's what those notifications were. Those notifications were like, yeah, uh-huh. You hit the nail on the head. You got people hating. Let me see. Was it a email? Who? What's going on? Why well, I'm getting all these notifications right now? Probably ain't nothing. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that was just confirmation. We also have the four of buttons, which is the four of pentacles, which represents conservation um, or being conservative. So some people may feel like you are too um, conservative, but you're really just reserved. I'm a very reserved person. Sometimes people take people that are reserved or that are quiet as, oh, they just think they're too good. So that's why they're not speaking to us or that's why they're not out here acting a fool. You know, I just got home training. That's all. Like they take the fact that you got home training and you know how to act or you're conservative, or you are reserved as you think you're better than everybody. So if you've had people say that, because a lot of the time people will tell on themselves. So you may have had people say to you, I thought you were like this or like that, but you're really not like that. Because people were judging you. People judge you a lot, but it, they judge you because they assume you're judging them. Isn't that crazy how stuff works? So, but it's also saying that there's something you need to refrain from doing something that you are doing that's unhealthy. I don't know if it's something you're eating. Okay. It's not saying you got to just go flat out on a whole diet, but maybe something like for me, soda, I had to stop like, you need to stop drinking soda, girl, you know, that's not good for you. 
So something you need to stop eating, something you need to stop doing, something you need to start doing, <laughs> something related to health, okay, which can be a myriad of different things. People immediately go to eating and exercise, but health ha is a lot, okay, that goes into that. So you know what you need to do. We also have the magician, okay, master of skill. Like I said, you all are master manifestors. You have master teachers around you at the time when you're seeing 333, okay? You may be in a situation where you feel like a lack right now. There's something lacking in your life, and you're having to tap into those magician skills and turn water into wine. You're literally feeling like a miracle is going to have to happen in your life, and that is going to happen. But in order to uh, bring that in, you're going to have to live a healthier lifestyle, whatever that means for you, okay? And you are going to have to stop being so nice to people all the time. That's not saying to be like going out of your way to be mean or rude to people, but that's saying like, if people, if you get a, a feeling about somebody that this person is being negative behind your back, like I used to be like, oh, it's not a big deal. That person is envious or jealous. I can tell. But then I was like, I would rationalize things like, well, envy and jealousy can be natural emotions. Like if you're, if somebody wants to be where you're at in life, obviously they're going to have a little bit of envy and jeal jealousy. That's normal. Okay. I get that. But when they start doing stuff on purpose to try to harm you, regardless of how small it is. Okay. If you're out here hoping that something goes wrong for me, you might not physically be doing anything to me, but you just want something bad to happen. Uh, that's bad. Okay. So if you get an inkling or a feeling that that's happening, you might be seeing 333 when you're thinking about a, a particular person. And maybe that's telling you that person is somebody that you need to cut off access to you. We also have Queen of Needles, clear of mind. So you are needing to clear your mind. I just did a fast a water fast because I'm not feeling good. So I do need to stay hydrated. So I couldn't just do a full on fast, but I did do a water fast and I feel a lot better mentally. So you may want to do that. We have three of wands in reverse. So you're feeling like there's obstacles. We have the devil. You're feeling like there's a lot of restrictions in life right now. We have the empress. You may be a single parent. Okay. And it's just getting, um, overwhelming we have two of buttons in reverse which is also the two of pentacles that represents priorities but the key word is spinning plates basically feeling like you're overwhelmed okay like i only have two hands but i have all this stuff to do i don't have enough time to do what i need to get done it's hard taking care of these kids you might be like a single parent like i said by myself just feeling overwhelmed okay so 333 is here to comfort you to let you know that even though you're feeling overwhelmed, you do have, you can tap into the energy of the Ascendant Masters, whichever one you feel most connected with, okay? And don't forget who you are. Don't forget that you are very good with manifestation and creating your own reality. Um, it just becomes harder and it takes a little bit longer when you are stressed out and when you are have a lot of mental fog going on. And a lot of that is not your energy. It's energy that other people are projecting on to you. And I, I was one to feel like, well, there really isn't too much somebody can do to like, you know, their energy can affect me. But you got to realize that you got a large number of people. It's not just one person or two or three people, to be honest, you have several people that are projecting negative energy your way. So that can be overwhelming, okay, along with everything else that goes on in life, period, okay? <laughs> I was about to say something, but I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. All right, let's see what else, because I got to go get my kid from school while I'm talking about kids. So we have happy family, community, Door to personal healing and happiness, healer of the ages, magician in the mirror, which is the magician card. And we have envy. OK, so people are watching you and they are seeing that all of the things we mentioned, community, people like to listen to you. People are uh, 
you know, hanging on to see what you do next. What do they do next? What do they post next? What project are they working on next? You have a family that's loving and supporting. Okay. Um, you are somebody who is good with manifestation, the ma magician in the mirror. You are a person that has healing energy. People are jealous of that. We have the envy card. Okay. So, you're a very modest person too. So you don't like to think that people would possibly be jealous of you. So like the envy card, like had to come out just to confirm it. Like, just so you can see, like it says envy, it says jealousy. Okay. Yes. You can be modest and all that, but there are people that are jealous and envious of you. So when you see three, 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 that's letting you know, that's what's going on right now. Somebody may be lying to you. Somebody may be being deceitful just to kind of try to throw you off of your path. Okay. Cause you're on the path to greatness. We have big, happy changes. Thank you. Okay. I was waiting. Like, can we get some good cards here? We got big, happy changes. The situation will improve. We got the word no. So you're going to need to learn how to say no to people and how to cut off access to people. We also have get more information before you just go helping people. You want to be all helpful to people uh, willy nilly. Get more information. We have listen to your intuition, peaceful resolution. So, I mean, these people can do all they want to do, but they're not really going to get anywhere. So, I mean, they're not going to be able to have like this huge effect on you. We have within the next few months. So, and then we have magical blessings. So, yeah, like I said, there's going to be some miracles, some miraculous things happening. And you're feeling like I need a miracle right now. Okay. The way life is going, I need a miracle. So, um, yeah, I can't wait until it happens so you can have a testimony like, yes, miracles really do happen. So it says magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too, but get more information like the card said before you go being all helpful. Fairy spotting. It's time to go fairy spotting. It said that seeing, believing, that seeing is believing, but in fact, the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. So what they are saying with this card is what you believe you will see. So that's going back to the as above, so below, as within, so without. Whatever you feel subconsciously and consciously and believe, you will start to see that happening in your reality. Even something as crazy as spotting fairies, okay? We have music. Listen carefully for there may be a message in the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories, and charm fairies to your door. We have moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Didn't I just say that with the four of pentacles? Um, try to eat mindfully and healthily. Although the fairies say that a little bit of what you fancy is fine. So you don't have to go cold turkey off of whatever it is you're eating that's unhealthy, but just make um, consistent changes, okay? Stargazing. When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself fairy focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. So basically, they're talking about scrying, essentially. It doesn't have to be just stars. You can do fire scrying where you stare at the flame or uh some people do it in like what are those little globe things that people look into i can't believe i cannot think of that a crystal ball <laughs> some people do it in a crystal ball some people do fire scrying um some people do it in a mirror some people do it like in a lake or water or you can do stargazing or sun gazing, but you got to be careful, okay, if you're doing sun gazing. Um, we also have, but it's just a way of uh, basically getting yourself in a meditative state, essentially. Um, we also have motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. Is there something you've been merely thinking about doing? They say, get busy and do it, okay, if there's something you've been wanting to do. Okay, you know what? At this point, this card says treat your body well. Exercise, meditate, massage. Somebody on here. And look, I have had to make these changes too. I've had to start eating better. 
Um, I've had to start getting out in nature, walking, exercising more. I'm working on the meditation thing because I'm kind of like ADHD. And so the way that I'm going about um, learning to just sit still and meditate is doing a diaphragmatic breathing and learning about heart consciousness and things of that nature. So that's how I'm doing it, learning how to breathe from the diaphragm and um, doing it, you know, a certain amount of breaths within a certain amount of time, it actually does something to, um, your brain and all of that stuff. So I'll have more information on that when I'm done studying that, but yeah. Okay. We have answer the call. So just like with a motivation card, answer the call. If there's something, you know, you're supposed to be doing, you've been called to do, do that. We have focus on children, pregnancy, birth, adoption, but really, that's just talking about get back into that childlike state of imagination. If you have kids, this should be fairly easy for you to do because you can just play with them or watch a cartoon with them. Me and my son, we like to watch all the cartoons from the 90s when I was a kid. So he can see it was better in the 90s than it is now with these cartoons. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, you know, that's our bonding time. But it's also me getting into that childlike imagination, like, watching um the justice league and all that stuff with him and seeing all the superpowers that people have and now watching that knowing what i know about spirituality that stuff doesn't seem as far off it doesn't seem far off or crazy that they're going into different time zones not time zones that they're going into traveling like time traveling and traveling in their dreams and that they have superpowers and all that oh, that stuff seems like very, very possible to me now because of the spiritual things I've been learning. Um, so me watching, you know, just regular cartoons with him kind of helps me to get in that imaginative state and feeling like anything is possible. We also have be open to love, relationships, passion, and fulfillment. So if you watch my video about love, remember I kept saying being open to receiving love, reciprocation, and living the soft life, okay? Not having to overwork yourself and feel overwhelmed. Be open to that because if you've been manifesting that, it is coming to you, but you got to stay focused, okay? Don't let negativity, de negativity derail you. We also have interact and relate community family traditions. You may find that you are creating um, relationships within a new community of people, maybe even people who you normally wouldn't have felt like um, would understand you or that you would want to be cool with because you're realizing the people that you cool with right now, they're not really good for you. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's what I have. If you're seeing three, 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 it basically means that everything you've been manifesting is happening right now. There's miracles about to happen for you. Great things are about to happen for you, but you have to do your part by staying focused, being positive, all the cliche things that people say, 333 is here to let you know people say that stuff for a reason. People talk about man uh, meditation for a reason. People talk about eating well and being healthy for a reason, okay? Because that gets you on the right vibration you need to be on to reel in what you've been manifesting, okay? So stay focused, stay positive. Cut people off if you got to cut people off. If you have to tap into cutthroat energy, okay, and put some people in their places, you can do that as long as you can bring yourself back to center. But trying to be super nice and love and light to everybody is not going to be possible. It's just not. The bigger you get, the more successful you get, the more you ascend, the more people are going to want to bring you right back down to their level unfortunately that's just how it is with humans okay <laughs> it's just how it is so ultimately still maintain your your nice reserved kind happy joyous self but you have to be a little bit more cautious and it's when you feel like it's time to cut somebody off and cut access to you off just do it don't even question yourself so that's what I have for those of you that have been seeing 333. If that resonated with you, please feel free to let us know in the comment section if you feel comfortable. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Toodles!